Plastics, the hormone disruptor. Hi, I'm Angie. Thanks for joining me here in the Perfectly Imperfect Kitchen for Life Square. Welcome to Life Squared, brought to you by the Perfectly Imperfect Network, from imperfect folk everywhere. Plastics, we've been hearing about it for decades. They're not good for you. Okay, and then we believed it got a little better when they took BPA out of the plastics. Well, now they're rethinking it. It doesn't seem like the BPA that was replaced by the BPS has made our situation any better. I have, um, quite frankly, got quite an education recently about how bad our plastics still are. And I was pretty conscious of it before, but it's worse than I thought. Number one, Get your food and drinks out of it as quickly as you possibly can. We all know you cannot absolutely go to the grocery store and not buy anything in plastic. You can't go get takeout. So first and foremost, get home, get as much as you can out of the plastics as possible. Glass pitchers, ceramic is good, stainless steel, What's even better is copper. Um, store as much as you possibly can in glass jars. They're very inexpensive. We get these for about $3 a piece. Um, have glass containers. I know you say, well, it's got a plastic lid. Well, try to keep your food down below the plastic lid. That will help. Um, another great alternative is bamboo. And bamboo is a very sustainable um, product to um, replenish. Bamboo trees, or they're actually plants, uh, grow quite quickly. So first and foremost, get your food, get your drinks out of the plastic and get it into something safer. Number two, BPA is banned for food storage, but BPS may be just as bad. So don't be surprised if you're going to start hearing BPS in your baby's baby bottle is just as bad as the old BPA. Number three, understand that fats break down plastic. So when you have food that has maybe a little butter or a little fat of some sort, maybe even a little olive oil, it's going to start breaking down that plastic. Maybe slowly, but surely, and you don't want any plastic in your, in your body. Number four, all of this getting into your body, leaching inside you, equals hormone disruptors, okay? Often referred to as xenoestrogen. What does it do? It upsets the balance. We talk a lot at Life Square about balance. Nearly everything is best when it finds balance. And what does that upset? fertility, particularly in men, because you raise the estrogen level too high and their sperm count goes down and the testosterone level in their body goes down. And for young men, that's particularly bad. So you do not want these hormone disruptors, especially for your small children. Number five, get rid of your plastics as soon as possible that are laying around your house. The best way to do it is recycling because we don't want it out in our waterways, um, you know, contaminating our drinking water, contaminating the fish we might eat. So do take it where it can be properly reused and disposed of. Number six, again, store food in glass, ceramic, copper, stainless steel. We talked about that earlier. Just want to reiterate that again. Store your food in safe containers. Number seven, never heat food in plastic. Why the plastic is going to break down, it's going to leach in your food, it's going to get in your body. And that is a very bad thing. Number eight, 
this plastic chipping, this leaching that happens, that we've been talking about, causes us to ingest 74,000 particulates of microplastics in our body each year. Each one of us. 74,000. This is so bad because here's another really bad issue concerning uh, plastic. It crosses the blood-brain barrier and it can leach up here in our brain, contributing to all sorts of um, diseases like dementia and cognitive decline. You don't want it, get your stuff out of the plastic. Number nine, understand there aren't any safe plastics. All plastics are unsafe. Number 10, we know you're going to go get takeout food and nobody wants you to stop. But the second you get home with that hot takeout food, get it out of that plastic container. Definitely don't eat out of it. Then put it in the fridge and heat it up in the microwave. Please don't do that. If you've been doing that, stop it today. Your body will thank you. Now and definitely in the future. And we're here. We're thinking about you. Uh, please think about us for just a moment. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Tell your friends, especially those that can benefit from us. And thank you for joining me here in the Perfectly Imperfect Kitchen for Life Squared. We really appreciate you joining us today at Life Squared on the Perfectly Imperfect Network. To get more content, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Thanks for watching.